Hello, 사랑부. Welcome to Wednesday service. Let us pray. Hands together. Thank you. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for inviting us to your worship. Let us open our ears and hearts. Let us receive your love and your grace and your word. And let us give our hearts to you through this worship. I pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, on Wednesdays, we're going to share our message through the Bible reading chart. So today is John chapter 2. It's about the start of Jesus' ministry. So let us start reading our Bible first. It's John chapter 2 verse 9. When the master of the feast tasted the water, now become wine, and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The master of the feast called the bridegroom. Amen. So at the start of Jesus' ministry, Jesus and his mother Mary were invited to a wedding at a location called Cana. So in a wedding, in a party, one of the most important thing is a feast, eating and drinking. But the wine, grape wine, ran out of this wedding. It's almost like no birthday cake at a birthday party. So Mary asked Jesus for help. Jesus, the wine ran out. Can you help? And Jesus calls the servants and tells the servants to fill the water into the jar. And this jar was huge. 
big as me. Big, and there were six jars, and Jesus told them to fill them up. So the servants, I think they got confused. They, the wedding needs wine, but Jesus is telling to fill the water, not wine. So, but even though it didn't make sense, servants obeyed to Jesus and started to fill the water into the big jars. And after they finished it, Jesus tells them to pour that water and give it to the master of the feast. It's strange. They, need, they want wine and Jesus is telling, them to, telling the servants to fill the water, jar with water and give that water to this master of feast. And when he drinks water, he's going to be mad. Why are you giving me water, not wine? But the servant still obeys to Jesus. And when they obey to Jesus, they see something miraculous thing. They pour the water and they see the water changing into wine. And they give that wine to this master of feast. When the master of his tastes the wine, he tells the wine is the most delicious wine he ever drank. And the party wedding continues because of Jesus gave them the wine. They enjoyed it, they loved it, and they finished that wedding very well. In today's Bible story, I want to I want to share two things with you guys. First thing is about obeying to Jesus. In that wedding, all the people got to enjoy and taste the most delicious wine that Jesus has made. It, but only the servants who obeyed to Jesus saw and knew that the wine was turned from water. Only the servants who obeyed to Jesus saw that Jesus was the one who did a miraculous sign. So even at today at church, there's many people who come to church and taste and feel and receive Jesus' miracles and Jesus is love and grace. But the people who knows that it came from Jesus is the ones who really are next to Jesus and, to, and who obeys to Jesus. Amen. The second thing I want to share is that it was because of Jesus the wedding was ended well. They all enjoyed. The feast did not end. Same thing, if Jesus doesn't help us, if Jesus doesn't show miracles and save us, we can't be saved, we can't change, we can't enjoy at the heaven where the real feast is going on. So I pray that everyone meets Jesus and because of Jesus, their life changed, their sins turn into righteousness, he going hell changes to going heaven, and enjoy the feast with Jesus, everlasting life. Amen. So let us pray together. Jesus, we just don't want to taste your love and grace, but we really want to see and know that all the grace that we have received was from you. So let us be next to you and let us obey to your word every day. And because of you, because we believe in you, because we receive you, our life changed. We are saved and we are invited to your feast. So let us believe in you and let us really get to change our lives and let us get to invited to your heaven. I pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen.